With only software optimization technique, Grok managed to increase their inference speed of Llama 3.1 70 billion parameter model from 250 tokens per second to 1665 tokens per second. In this video, we're going to learn about what is the technique and then we're going to learn about how fast is this new model. This new model is called Llama 3.1 70 billion speculative decoding model. I mean, like at this point, they're literally calling this La uh, Grok spec decoding model. I mean, I think this is a thing that a lot of people are going to do more. But for now, Grok has officially implemented it as part of the API. Um, you cannot use it yet. I think they have to still make it available for everybody. But what they've done is they've given artificial analysis, which is a third party service access to the endpoint artificial analysis analyzed of course as the name suggests this endpoint and then figured out that the token count the speed has jumped from 250000 token which is sorry 250 tokens which is what like i just tried which is live on their website for llama 3.170 billion parameter model to 1665 tokens it's extremely fast. In fact, like the only other service provider that is faster than this is Cerebras. But I guess Cerebras' speed bump is primarily due to the chip, not necessarily due to the software optimization, if I'm not wrong. So what is happening here? What is happening here is that there is a new approach that they've used. I mean, speculative decoding exists for quite a while but they don't want to uh, juice out their uh, hardware optimization so they have used the same 14 nanometer lpu chip that they have got and uh, this chip with the software update which is speculative decoding they have managed to increase the speed and this speculative decoding we have already covered on this channel before but i would like to give you a very quick timer on what is speculative decoding so speculative decoding it's an optimization technique the technique, the primarily the objective of this technique, like the only objective of this technique is to accelerate the inference process of large language models. But the catch here is that you don't want to accelerate the speed of the large language models without compromising the quality of the generative text. So there is a trade-off usually the speed versus quality. So speculative decoding helps you accelerating the inference speed without compromising on the quality of the text. What is happening? Traditionally, large language models are autoregressive models. That means they're decoding text uh, one by one with each token is produced as sequentially. So if I say that I love one little coder, then I is first generated, then love is generated, then one little coder is generated. What speculative decoding does differently is that it has a two stage process. The first stage is something that we're going to call it draft generation. The second stage is something that we're going to call it as verification. In the stage of draft generation, a smaller and a faster model is also like called as a draft or an assistant model. This is used to predict multiple subsequent tokens in a single forward pass. So if you know deep neural network, large language models are deep neural network. There is a single forward pass and in a single forward pass, multiple subsequent tokens are generated. Imagine if you want to say I love one little coder. So after you have got I, the draft generation or the draft model would actually predict love one little coder there. I mean, it is not going to really do it, but just like in this hypothetical example. Now this model generates a batch of candidate tokens based on the current input. Now comes the larger model, which is more accurate model. So this more accurate target model then evaluates all these candidate tokens in parallel. So the smaller model generates all these tokens. This larger model, while generating new uh, tokens, it's going to validate in parallel. It's going to validate all these tokens generated by the smaller model, which is the draft model. So it then verifies the correctness and determines which token aligns with its own prediction and then accepts the token rather than actually generating the token. See, the accepted tokens are immediately added to the output sequence uh, while the rejected ones are discarded. By leveraging the smaller model, which in this case is a draft model, and using the larger model for validation, so speculative decoding literally enables generations of multiple tokens per iteration than just generating only one token per iteration. And there are like multiple ways to increase the speed. But the main thing here is that you don't want to um, reduce uh, the quality of the generation while you're holding or improving the speed of our acceleration of the generations extremely ex effective a lot of different use cases we recently learned about openai use case coming back to grok in, in itself artificial analysis found 
that Meta Llama's 3.170 billion parameter model outputs 1665 tokens per second. This is output token, not just input token. So if you go see the speed here, you can see that the output token uh, speed here is the 250. The input token speed is like 5502, uh, which is not what we are talking about. We're talking about the output token speed. The output token speed has uh, bumped from 250 to 1665. And uh, this is due to uh, speculative decoding. And in terms of quality, Grok's internal team analyzed it and they did not find any kind of quality degradation. So this is what George Cameron, the co-founder of Artificial Analysis has said. Now, if you are like in this space for quite long and uh, you know that, you know, one of the bottlenecks of large language model is how soon it can generate certain things. I mean, there are a lot of bottlenecks like context window and other things. But if you have a model that that is really good, like 70 billion parameter model that can generate really fast, just like in this particular case, like 1600 tokens per second, what kind of advantages you get? This is the question because you don't want to be improving a metric without any kind of a practical benefit. So in this particular case that there are a lot of benefits, I think the primary, the most uh, like really good benefit that you can get is for agentic workflows. Agentic workflows are primarily one of the areas which is going to get benefit from a faster model without quality compromisation. Then for conversational AI for customer service, imagine like you want to plug in this with a really fast TTS like text to speech. Now you can actually have like near real time or real time interactive discussion or even if you leave the voice part outside even for text it's very extremely helpful for somebody to chat with your customer support system get a response back faster the responses faster the happier the customer is so for conversational AI for customer support is extremely helpful and also for decision making and planning because now you can give in a lot of token it can analyze a lot of token it can get back to you i'm still looking forward to see the applications of speculative decoding for cases where you don't have to repeat a lot of tokens, which is what OpenAI did. But I'm looking forward to see how people are going to use it. I don't think this is at this particular point available on cloud. So like I said, like I just tested it and uh, I still got 250 tokens per second output, but I'm really looking forward to try this out. And when it is available, I'll probably make this a video. So you can also go try out the 70 billion parameter speculative decoding Llama 3.1 enabled on Grok cloud. Happy always whenever there is an optimization improvement. Uh, let me know what you feel about this. See you in another video. Happy prompting.